Electronic Corpse, Poems from a Digital Salon is a global collaborative poetry project that's been building on Facebook since September 2012. I want to show you how to build an electronic corpse and hopefully you'll be inspired enough that you'll want to build an electronic corpse on your own. The electronic corpse is a close cousin to other digital art forms such as the remix and the mashup and like those forms it can be described in three basic steps copy transform and combine first we copy a first line from an existing poem or song in this case we're going to copy our first line from american poet sharon olds her poem voices supplies the first line our voices race to the towers and up beyond. Next, we're going to transform Sharon Olds' first line by applying an existing poetry form or rhetorical form. In this case, our transformation will be an ekphrastic poem. An ekphrastic poem is basically a rhetorical description of a work of art. We're going to take a look now at a typical image that might inspire an ekphrastic poem. Here we have The Birth of Venus by French artist Alexander Cavanel from 1863. I call this a typical image that would inspire an ekphrastic poem in that we have a familiar figure in a mythological Venus. We have familiar figures in the cherubs who are announcing her birth with conch shells. But since this is a digital poetry project, we're going to keep things a little more interesting and we're going to use a remix of this painting done by Korean artist Kim dong Kyu. In his hot issue, we'll notice the cherubs are announcing Venus's birth with objects that are a little bit more 21st century. Finally, after copying Sharon Old's line, transforming it with an ekphrastic form, we combine using elements that are adapted from a parlor game played by the French Surrealists in the 1920s. That game was called Exquisite Corpse. We modify the rules slightly for our digital purposes and then we feed these elements into the global engine of Facebook and out comes our collaborative poem which we call an electronic corpse. Now we're going to pull everything together. This is the writing prompt that would be posted on a Facebook wall where an electronic corpse event would be hosted. A successful writing prompt consists of four key elements. The first element is the transformation. In this case, as we previously indicated, it's going to be an ekphrastic poem. The second element is the line length. This is important to publicize to the contributors so that they can write in anticipation of an ending. In this case, the poem is going to be 18 lines long. The third element, since we're using Facebook as a platform, is the tagging feature. While these exercises are open to anyone with a Facebook account by being made public, tagging is a way to further encourage engagement. Finally, the fourth element is the copied line provided from the Sharon Olds poem Voices. Now we're going to feed these components into Facebook and now watch the birth of a live electronic corpse. Our voices race to the towers and up beyond. Her millennium old response remains. I just can't with y'all. How long has she been lying here, waiting for us to retweet her? Surely there is reason for this maddening silence, raging louder than ocean. Her hair is a sweet net casting for us, but without documentation, it didn't happen. What a waste of bits and bites, nipping like rioting mitochondria, thinking they make some sensible something. This is what communication has come to, misfiring synapses and senseless voids, feigning intimacy. Because while skin and hair lay wet, waiting for consummation, for communion, we 
simply text. WTF, boy? She thought Babel fixed the babbling. Who needs immortality when infamy only takes a 140 character string? Does oil on canvas guarantee history that we will remember? Which instrument is more divine, the iPhone 5 or the painter's hand? I simply just can't with y'all. Believe there is anything more famous and long-lived than an imploded sun and stardust. You ain't nothing but scattered. Divine as Rubenless cherubs trending to Venus, reaching to favorite a soothing wave. This electronic corpse was created by five contributors living in three different U.S. cities. Atlanta, Pittsburgh, and Syracuse. If you'd like to find out more about Electronic Corpse, the full anthology is available on Amazon. Electronic Corpse Poems from a Digital Salon is a print anthology comprising the 50 best Electronic Corpse exercises composed over the past two years. The print anthology represents 84 contributors from four different countries, the U.S., India, South Korea, and Colombia, as well as 20 U.S. states, spanning the spectrum of race and religion, geography and gender, sexuality and class. Finally, I leave you with a charge for creativity in the digital era. Commune. Collaborate. Create.